All right, so we go ahead and talk about uh, air suspension performance. A lot of time people think that if you go air suspension, you lose your handling, you lose the performance. A lot of people say it's bouncy. A lot of people say it's too stiff. Now, there's a lot of different kits available, especially struts and bags. In this case, this car has air lift. Now, air lift has a double bellow bag design. Now what that means is it takes a lot less pressure to expand the significant amount of travel that you would like to have on the car. If you have a different kit, like a UAS for example, a lot of people run these shorty bags which allows you to go really low, but the travel on that is maybe only 5 inches. Now what that means is you would have to compress a lot of air in there and expand it out as much as it can to travel. That means that you're going to fully expand this bag and it's going to be super stiff and that's why it's bouncy. In this case, with a double bellow, you can run about 65 to 85 PSI and it's going to travel the same amount but a lot less pressure, allowing it to dampen a lot of that. But that also means that you can change out the pressure to accordingly, which means that if you want it to be a performance car, you can actually adjust the amount of pressure inside of there it's kind of like adjusting a preload on a spring on a traditional strut and spring setup. But if you wanted to reduce that pressure to make it ride like a stock uh, car or even like an air suspension car like a Mercedes or something like that, you can actually adjust all of that, which is kind of like a preload again, the pressure. Well, adjust the height on that to set it to whatever height you want it at to ride at whatever pressure you want. So let's say you wanted a car that you know, was driving really low in the car, but you still want it to ride smooth like a stock car, we can lower the bag down and adjust the pressure on it. But let's say you wanted to have a track car and you want it to be able to still have a show car, we can still accommodate to that by adjusting it up and again, reducing pressure or increasing the pressure for preload. That also means that you can change the pressure on each corner. Now, we'll get into depth about 3H. Uh, 3H is the best setup and system on the market. It actually has height sensors on there. So let's say you're at the track, you're taking a corner really hard, and now you have body roll. This setup, the 3H would actually sense that and see that it's actually shifting the car and it's leaning. It will apply more pressure onto the right side if you're turning left and raise up that side. You lose that body roll. So now you have perfect center of gravity on that car at all times. This car does not have that, but with the 3P, you can upgrade to that at any time, whenever you want, and the V2, you cannot do that. So that's why we always recommend customers to get a 3P versus a V2. V2, it's a great system too, but a lot of times it's just not enough for a customer. 